Welcome to the overview of Dominion Energy's Dooms Valley 500 kilovolt electric transmission improvement project. The key purpose of this project is to replace aging infrastructure. New transmission infrastructure projects are needed due to three general forces. Economic growth, such as population growth or business expansion. Aging assets, such as old structures that need to be replaced and following mandatory standards that ensure safety and reliability. These forces are often intertwined. Ultimately, we believe that any solution should take into account future energy needs and balance costs and impacts. Our 500 kilovolt lines serve as the backbone of reliability for our transmission system, efficiently moving energy from the facilities that generate the power to all parts of Virginia. Dominion Energy has been systematically modifying these lines to help reduce vulnerabilities and strengthen the state's energy infrastructure. This provides reliable, affordable, and greener energy to Virginians. This portion of the improvement plan is located in Augusta County and runs from the company's Doom substation northwest to the company's Valley substation just west of Weir's Cave. The existing transmission corridor is about 18 miles long on primarily a 150-foot wide right-of-way. The existing 500 kilovolt line uses core 10 lattice structures that are 111 feet tall on average. The line has been in operation for more than five decades and needs to be replaced in order to maintain reliability for our customers and add future operational flexibility to the system. The line was originally built in the early 1960s using core 10 steel, which, among other things, gave the steel a rust color. The idea behind using core 10 was to provide a low maintenance product that creates an iron oxide patina to protect the steel. The patina prevents further natural rusting and corrosion. However, the patina layer has not performed as expected and is actually aiding in degrading the steel and reducing the durability of the lattice structures as a whole. Although well maintained, it has come time to address these concerns. Our suggested plan is to rebuild this line in a manner that upgrades it consistent with current electrical safety standards, creates no new right-of-way, keeps the new structures in the same general location as the existing structure locations, and provides future system flexibility for the long term by including the option to add another transmission line on the same structure under the 500 kilovolt line, thereby maximizing the use of the existing right-of-way. To accomplish the project's goals, we have looked at solutions from an electrical and engineering perspective. We have reviewed two different types of structures, galvanized steel lattice and weathering steel H-frame. Both structure types are taller than the existing structures and are consistent with current electrical safety standards and clearances. Neither type will require any expansion to the existing right-of-way, and both options allow for new structures to be in the same general location as existing structures. Both options include space for a future transmission line to be placed under the 500 kilovolt line for future system flexibility and maximum use of existing right-of-way. Each structure type comes with an option for finish. The H-frame has a rusty brown finish, and the lattice structure will have a galvanized finish, which will naturally dull over time. We have also explored a chemically treated pre-dulled finish option for the galvanized lattice. Each structure type and finish present unique benefits and challenges. To provide a representation of what the proposals could look like once complete, the company is providing a number of photo simulations. This video shows three of the vantage points used. We begin our series of photo simulations with existing Core 10 steel lattice structures located just off Interstate 81 looking northeast. The existing structures stand 111 feet tall on average. Proposed galvanized steel lattice structures would stand 143 feet tall on average. Our plan is to keep the new structures in the same general location as the existing structures to minimize impact. 
The weathering steel H-frame structures offer a brown rust finish and withstand 150 feet tall on average, the highest of any available option. Our next photo simulation takes us to Swisher Road looking north. Here again we have the familiar existing Core 10 steel lattice structures followed by proposed galvanized steel lattice structures. This structure type is the lowest cost option and provides ideal working conditions for our linemen. The weathering steel H-frame structure is the highest cost option under consideration. Our final photo simulation brings us to Rockfish Road looking east. Here the existing Core 10 steel lattice structures run parallel to our recently rebuilt Dooms to Lexington 500 kilovolt line. The proposed galvanized steel lattice structure for this project will naturally dull over time. The weathering steel H-frame structures would offer a different structure type to the current parallel structures. Dominion Energy and its employees approach their work based on a system of core values that form the basis of project planning and execution. Safety is our highest priority. We set high performance standards in all that we do. It is imperative that we execute our work ethically and employ strong teamwork, not just among colleagues, but with the communities we serve. As Dominion Energy moves through the planning process, it is important to gain feedback from the community as we further study our options. Dominion Energy is committed to finding solutions for the new infrastructure that best fits our long-term system needs and is in the best interest of the communities we serve. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about this important project. More information can be found at dominionenergy.com slash doomsvalley or email us at powerline at dominionenergy.com.